The following video describes the insertion technique of the VBM cryocothyrotomy kit called Surgicric No. 2 according to the surgical technique. The kit is sterile packed. An overview of the instruction for use is enclosed outside the sterile packaging. On a clean surface, open the pouch and unfold the sterile drape. The components of the kit are exposed in their respective compartments. The instruction for use can be placed in front of the user. A functional check should be carried prior to use. Inflate the cuff of the tracheal tube and check for leakage. Deflate the cuff completely. The first step is essential for a successful outcome of the technique. The operator stands on the side facing the patient. With the non-dominant hand the cryocothyroid membrane is located and the area is stabilized to perform the surgical incision. The scalpel is held in the dominant hand. A vertical incision of the skin covering the area of the thyroid is performed. The cryocothyroid membrane is exposed using the scissors to perform a blunt dissection of the soft tissue. The speculum is inserted into the incision. It is rotated in a cranial direction. The speculum is then opened to expose the cryocothyroid membrane. With the scalpel, a horizontal incision through the cryocothyroid membrane is performed. The speculum serves as a frame to better control the incision. The speculum is closed rotated cordially and inserted into the trachea. The tracheal tube is inserted into the trachea. The speculum serves as a guide. The speculum is removed once the tube is in place. The correct position can be checked by aspirating air through the dilator. The adjustable flange allows the tube to be positioned correctly. The cuff of the tracheal tube is inflated. The dilator is removed from the tube. The tracheal tube is connected to a ventilation system and the patient is ventilated. The tube is fixed with the neck tape. The enclosed catheter mount gives more flexibility to the connection and allows suction without interrupting ventilation.